My name is Deirdre Sidaway, Respiratory Nurse Specialist in Primary Care working in Ipswich, Suffolk and also a committee member with the Association of Respiratory Nurse Specialists. This is part three of a six-part series when we're looking at the things we must remember in order to provide a structured quality asthma review and this time we're going to look at inhaler technique and recording peak flow. There are lots of great resources to help us to remember how to teach inhaler technique. There's the Asthma UK website, there are these seven steps to success inhaler reminder cards. There are basic principles for all inhalers. We must prepare the device, shake it if required, and load it. We must tell the patient to exhale fully, and then inhale according to the device, and then actuate the device. Then, the patient must hold the breath for 10 seconds, or as long as able, and then repeat if necessary. So inhalers are divided broadly into two groups, those which are a pressurised metered dose inhaler, and those which are dry powder. The metered dose inhaler requires a particular type of inhalation and that's an inhalation that is a long, slow inhalation. So, shake the device, remove the mouthpiece, exhale fully, teeth and lips around the mouthpiece, start to inhale, depress the canister and keep breathing in a long, gentle breath and then hold for 10. and then breathe out. And if you need a second dose, repeat. The dry powder devices require an inhalation that is fast from the start, so they're quite different to the metered dose inhaler. So if we're looking at this one, we unscrew the top, we twist the base until it clicks, and then twist it back, and exhale. Teeth and lips around the mouthpiece, strong inhalation, and then again, hold for 10. We must remind patients that they could use a spacer with their metered dose inhaler to help them to get better lung deposition. And there are devices like the in-check dial, which can be really helpful to measure how much inspiratory flow different devices require and to be able to assess patient suitability to use that particular device. If the patient is requiring use of an inhaled steroid, we must remind them about oral hygiene, otherwise they may end up with a sore mouth or a dry throat. Remind patients that they need to replace their inhalers and this is particularly important if they don't have a dose counter on them and you can download an app for the phone from the internet. So, checking peak flow. First of all, make sure that the arrow is on zero. Insert a one-way mouthpiece. Ask the patient to take a full inhalation and then a forceful exhalation. Reset to zero and record three times, writing down the best. We must calculate the percentage of predicted or best for each patient and we can also use paediatric peak flow meters for children. Peak flow can assist the assessment of control and aid self-management and it can be used to help us to diagnose asthma. So in summary, inhaler technique. Remember, it's a long, slow inhalation for pressurised devices and you need to inhale fast from the start with dry powder devices. You can download apps for the phone to remind you to use and replace the device and remember to check inhaler technique every time.